about six months ago, I began to take a look at some of the more frequent sequence lettering appearing in Cypher 1. Specifically the letters from Cypher 1, line 11 and 12. There are 20 letters that stand out. A, B, F, D, E, F, G, H, I, I, J, K, L, M, M, N, O, H, P, and P. This is a sequence from the decipherment using the Declaration of Independence, just as those before me used to decode Cipher 2. It is very unusual to find a line sequence like this in any cipher, such as the Beale papers. By adding the numbers of the two units before the sequence, I was able to retrieve a full decipherment of this section. The numbers begin with 112, 18, 147, 436, 195, 320, 37, 122, 113, 6, 140, 8, 120, 305, 42, 58, 461, 44, 106, 301, 13, and 408. This sequence when converted into Roman alphabetical letters using the Declaration of Independence, then rearranging the letters, the product becomes the following. A, H, K, John, L, Piper, Dig, 2000. B, F, B, F. It is very possible to conclude that BF, BF could be the county and city. It is also possible to conclude that A, H, and K, refers to the Hebrew word for brother. The number 2000 comes from the Roman numbers M and M. Another interesting point that I have come across in the past year is what I refer to as the cryptostran, which is how to understand which cipher is page 1, 2, and 3. The page of the ciphers with 700 plus characters starts with the number 115. The page of the cipher with 600 plus characters starts with the number 317. And the page of the cipher with 500 plus characters, starts with the number 71. From here we can conclude that after the 700 plus cipher was decoded back in 1865, that there is a pattern to the numbering of the ciphers. With the knowledge that the 700 plus cipher, is in fact page 2, the pattern that this discovery unveiled, I have found to be very simple. You see, the number 71 is equal to page 1, the number 317 is equal to page 3, and the number 115 has the Roman numeral 2 in the first two digits of its number. Incidentally, the Declaration of Independence, word 71, is the word separation. These are just a few of the very interesting discoveries I have made, in my work on the ciphers. So why are the ciphers ordered like they are today? If we look into the logic behind the current order, we find that the person who decoded page 2 had set them out, according to their length. If we put down the page with 500 plus characters first, then the page with the 600 plus characters second, and then the one left with 700 plus characters last. We have replicated how they had originally laid them out. The person then decoded the 700 plus cipher, only to conclude that it was, in fact, the second page, by its contents. So now, by ordering them into the order shown, in which I have discovered, we now have the new and true arrangement of the ciphers as we see them today. This new arrangement is all thanks to the decoder of the 700 plus cipher page from the mid 1800s. This short documentary is only a small portion of the research that I have conducted on the Beale papers and its origins. I can truly understand the hidden story behind this elusive document for it would seem that I am, the only one to have ever decipher pages 1 and 3 of the Beale papers. I will be looking to do more videos on this channel in the near future. Thank you for watching.